The New York Giants finished with 10 selections in the 2020 draft, and you can clearly see where their overall focus was as a franchise. Three picks were along the offensive line, while the remaining seven went to the back seven of their defense. And what I like most about the Giants draft was how they attacked the offensive line, strengthening it in the process. Andrew Thomas out of Georgia was my number one offensive tackle prospect, who is a plug and play guy that can handle either tackle spot. Matt Parrott out of UConn gives them some athleticism on the right side with room to grow as a player. And guard Shane Lemieux out of Oregon was my sixth rated guard prospect in the draft class. And he's coming from arguably the best offensive line in college football. He could also potentially be what the Giants are looking for at center. Safety Xavier McKinney was a solid pickup in round two. He's got very good football awareness and shows the potential to be an excellent overhang defender. The Giants drafted four linebackers showing a heavy emphasis in bolstering that unit. Two of them, Cam Brown of Penn State and Carter Coughlin out of Minnesota, gives them two athletic backers with rush potential. Brown shows the ability to play out in space while Coughlin, in my opinion, is one of the better blitzers in the draft class. Here are some undrafted free agents to keep an eye on this training camp. Austin Mack, the wide receiver out of Ohio State, may not have had the gaudy stats that some of his Buckeye teammates had, but he made the most of his opportunities when he did get the chance. He's a sure-handed wideout with great route running skills. Hampton Pirates cornerback Christian Angulo is one of the better press corners in the draft class. He's got the athleticism and the length that you look for at the position. I thought he had a really good game against Liberty where he was matched up against Redskins draft pick Antonio Gandy-Golden. Kyle Murphy out of Rhode Island is coming off of a strong week down at the East-West Ryan Bowl and could play up to three spots on the offensive line. I think he's a good guard with the potential to play center as well. Ryson John out of Simon Fraser is also a top CFL draft prospect. He could also transition to a flex tight end at the pro level, so it'll be interesting to see how the Giants utilize his tremendous skill set. Dominic Ross out of North Carolina is another athletic backer who can play outside or inside backer. I like him on the inside in this defense, which gives him a chance to be able to come in and compete for a spot on the roster. He's got the ability to cover in both man as well as in zone. Giants add another Ohio State wideout in Benjamin Victor. Stylistically, he's very similar to Giants first year player, Reggie White Jr. and he's coming off of a stellar postseason circuit at the Shrine Bowl. Nico Lalos of Dartmouth has very good football awareness. He plays the line of scrimmage game really well. He can also push the pocket as a five tech and I think he has very good point of attack strength. And the Giants also added a developmental quarterback that I really like in Case Cook is from Northern Arizona. He had a sensational freshman campaign and was really tracking well to be a draftable prospect before all of the injury setbacks in his career. His game reminds me a lot of Sam Bradford and he gives the Giants someone that they can both groom and develop to be their QB2 on the roster. I gave the Giants an A for their draft. Taking care of the offensive line helps take away a lot of the built-in excuses that many have for inadequate offensive play. It's now up to quarterback Daniel Jones to grow his game in year two. The offensive line should be in great shape for the foreseeable future, and the Giants continue to add athleticism and versatility to a defense that has to improve in 2020.